What's up, everybody? What's going on? So look, right? I um, I had another dream. I just took a nap. Moon is in Taurus. I've been napping on and off. I must have ate about like four plates of food, like you know, big nice food. <laughs> Scarfed it down. Um, I got food here, but I'm like eating out anyway. So it's, it's kind of weird that I speak about that, right? Because um, when they're doing construction, whenever doing like construction or you know doing pipe work or whatever in my building, they'll like shut the hot water off and stuff. And you know, they'll they'll tag up a notice or whatever the case may be. Or sometimes now, like if you got if you got things electronically hooked up, you'll get an email saying, you know, well, hot water is off, blah, 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 right? So we get the email blast stating that hot water has been put back on for everyone. So I'm like, all right, I'll go wash a few dishes and go make some food, right? So I go to use my sink, but my sink, there's no hot water on. So, you know, to avoid, I didn't, I just didn't feel like going to, going through the shit with people. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to go to the, get it taken care of and all of that. And so I just went to the store, you know what I'm saying? Bought some stuff and stuffed my face like a tourist would. Um, so I'm really in tune right now, going with the flow. And I just want to say this before I get started. Like I'm blessed to be able to dream at this level. Like I'm, I'm really in. So it was brought to my attention by Lucky. Shout out to Lucky, by the way. Lucky is Pluto and Libra generation. I'm pretty sure uh, if I recall correctly. Yeah, so when Lucky says things, I do take it into consideration. So Lucky was like, maybe I should have talked about the X-rated, the sexual dream, because there's probably a lesson to be learned there. So I thought about it and I said, you know what? Since I dreamed again, I'm going to, um, it's another thing with Tauruses, right? Taking naps and shit. So since I dreamed again during this nap, I'm going to talk about this dream, but I'm going to talk about the X-rated dream before that I left out, right? So it's very brief anyway. So I'm in this dream and I'm dreaming and I don't know if I'm in, I wasn't in my apartment, right? Um, It felt like it could have been my apartment, but it just wasn't, you know what I mean? Um, maybe it's like another apartment in my complex or something like that. Who knows? But it didn't feel like my apartment um, as far as furniture-wise goes and stuff like that, like where things were placed. I didn't recognize anything that would signify my apartment. I could be wrong, though. Um, so I'm standing there, and I'm looking inside of a doorway of a room. So that's kind of a hint right there. Like, I don't have doors in my apartment. So... Except for the bathroom. But I'm looking through this doorway of the room and I see a girl in there. Now this girl who's in there, I'm not gonna say who she is, but this girl who's in there, I know her. You know what I'm saying? And um I know her like that. You know what I'm saying? On a like I know her, know her, like in biblical terms. So I'm staring in a room. But I'm pretty much speechless. I'm not really talking about anything. It's like I'm preparing to go in the room. I'm just not going in the room yet. I'm just standing there. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I look, but she's topless. You know what I'm saying? And she's she's playing with her boobies or whatever the case may be. She's she's like massaging them or whatever the case may be, right? They look pretty nice, too. They don't look like the last time I seen them, either. They look, you know, more sizable and plump or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Nah, but I do know. Like, yeah, they, was, they just did not look the same way. Last time I seen him. <laughs> so I'm enjoying the show. You know what I mean? Um, but again, I'm still standing there. Like, I'm not making moves inside of the room yet. So I'm standing there. I'm not saying anything. She's saying something, but she's not talking directly to me. She's talking to another girl who's in the room with her. Um, now, this girl I don't know. She had a darker skin. She was like, she was like chocolate dark skin, too. Like, um, bright white teeth um i didn't know her though like i don't know her from nowhere like i do not know this woman so now she got a shirt on but she's got like a thong on if i'm not mistaken and if not she's got like some comfortable shorts on don't don't quote me on that which she's got on the bottom but what i do know is that she got real comfortable real quick so at first it was like she was dressed but then she got like in some like more comfortable clothes and laid across the bed where this other woman that I do know was. So, make a long story shorter, they started getting into it, them two. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I'm standing there and I'm enjoying the show. 
I'm watching, right? And um, this is where I, the cameo from this dude comes in. He just like pops up out of nowhere over this way. So I hear the voice. I can't remember what he said, but he was asking a question to the girl that I've had relations, sexual relations with before. So, um, you know, my first thing was like, you know, and as I said before, they like people try to like create this, I don't know, atmosphere of competition between me and this person. And I'm just like, at first, I'm just looking at the girl like, yo, what's that about? You know what I'm saying? But not saying anything. I'm like, when, since when, you know what I'm saying? Y'all started talking to each other, whatever the case may be. But from the look in this girl's face that I pretty much fucked with, she was like, it, it wasn't that it wasn't that deep. You know how you could look at two people interact and you can tell whether or not they're at a potential level or a certain level or whatever the case may be. It wasn't one of those. Um, and I didn't even like the feeling because I felt like not the type of jealous as, oh, you sleeping with so-and-so or y'all, y'all together like that or y'all did something. Not like that, but I felt like the type of betrayal type of feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you, you fucking around with this dude? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like one of those, like supposed to be on my side or whatever the case may be. And this is why I'm saying, like, why this feels disturbing, this whole type of coercion between me and this guy. Because I truly, well, I believe that I don't feel this way. That's why I'm saying it felt icky in the dream because I'm, like, questioning the loyalty of this woman that I was sleeping with, right? So, you know, that dream happened and then it was over. That's the end of that dream that I left out. You know what I'm saying? And then the dream that I just spoke about, when I was on a bike and the, and the kids in the community and everything. So, um, as I was saying, right, so I guess the, one of the things that I learned from that dream, and this is important, and I'm glad Lucky brought it to my attention, is that come to find out, I wrote a verse maybe about three days ago for music, and I was having trouble recording it. It's one long, you know, how you, you know how you get those Joe Button verses? It's just one long straight through verse. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like to do punch-ins. So I just kept doing it, kept doing it. You know, people, you know, you can really hear everything where I'm at in New York, too. So sometimes I pick it up in the mic. My mic is real sensitive. And I just, I turned it off. I'm like, ah, I got frustrated. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm going to pick another time to record this. Not now. So I put it down. So, but in this verse, I'm actually talking about what was happening inside of the dream somewhat like there's a verse that i say about um maybe in a past life um i was throwing sex pot i was throwing sex parties for the british with um caribbean women in belize you know what i mean now i know for a fact that this chick that was in the dream playing with a booby she's caribbean you know what i mean and um and it was a sex party that was taking place so i'm like oh shit putting two and two together now, again, this person who's supposed to be my alleged competition, again, in the same type of industries, well, industry, rather. I don't know about all the industries that I'm in, but definitely in the lines of some of the industry criteria that I meet, right? <clears throat> so I'm putting two and two together, and I'm like, ah, you know, even though I, I again, I said I, I'm not bent on taking it there. I'm just seeing how the stage is set. You know what I mean? So... That's something that I learned from the dream. Also, if it was, like I told you, I don't believe it was my apartment, but perhaps because I know where this woman lives and, you know, perhaps it was still kind of community based. So mind you, right, the moon is inside of Taurus. For me, Taurus is in the, in the solar chart. Taurus is inside of the house of community, third house, community and communication, um, siblings and et cetera, et cetera, publishing, right? So we're talking about music, we're talking about publishing, we're talking about communication, we're talking about music, and if we're talking about third house, we're talking about community as well. So um, I also, I told y'all, I believe Taurus is the most sexual sign in a zodiac, by the way, but I guess that's another video. So today, after I stuffed my face like a Taurus would, sense of taste, right, touch, feel, and everything, I'd stuff my face to sleep. I take like a two hour nap. Um, in this dream, and remember the last dream I was talking about, you know, children and people, I felt like people wanted me to take care of their children in some type of way. And I was just like, I'm not doing it the way that y'all think I might do it or like everybody else doing it. You know, you could look at the TV screen. I'll teach a kid like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, now, in this dream, I wake up in my apartment, um, in my bed, and 
I'm in the bed with this woman. Now, I do know this woman as well that I'm in bed with. Um, I guess you could say we have a we have a history. We do. Um, we go back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm laying there in between her legs. I'm laying on the bed. I got my head in between her legs. And we're chilling. We're watching a movie. You know what I mean? Now, her kid is there with us. And um, not a bad kid, yo. Just, you know. I guess you use it, like I said before in the other dream, like using intellect, you know what I mean? We was watching a film, but um, he was, you know, he was quiet. He was disciplined. He was, like I said, like, if I'm if I'm dealing with your kid, like, I'm going to use intellect, I'm going to use discipline, and we're going to chill. We can still have fun, you know what I'm saying? But it's like I didn't have to coach this kid. I didn't really have to do much. You know, he was just sitting down with us, and we was watching the movie, you know what I'm saying? So it's like she's back here. I'm next like laying in between her legs and the kid is in front of us head facing the tv right so we're kind of like playing around in the background you know a little fondling going on as a matter of fact it felt like her titty was like um like i was i was like massaging it like like she was rubbing herself because she flipped herself upside down on her stomach and then started like rubbing her titty on top of my palm right so i'm like this feels good, you know what I'm saying? She makes, she's like, it feels good, you know what I mean? And um, she just kept doing it repeatedly, back and forth, back and forth. And this girl's got nice tits, right? By the way, um, could feel her nipple getting hard. I don't, yo, they're probably gonna take this video down. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Let me just be positive. Fuck it, they might just keep it up. Um, they might advertise on it too. Who knows? Um, but I'm gonna try to run an advertisement on it, see if it works. But so. You know, we doing what we do, but it's nothing extreme. You know what I'm saying? And um, as I said, you know, I feel a nipple getting hard or whatever the case may be. It was kind of like weird sex. And knowing what sign this person is, it makes perfect sense. You know what I mean? It was like weird foreplay, by the way. Excuse me. We weren't having sex at this point. Um, so it made sense to me. So now it goes off in my head. Like, I feel like sometimes in my dreams, I could feel like somebody's watching me or somebody's watching us or things of that nature. And... So subconsciously, I guess, I was like, yo, you know your guy is looking at us, right? And she was like, like it was no big deal. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I, I don't mean no disrespect. She was like, I know. You know what I'm saying? And in real life, like, I, I know who her man is. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, really, like, personally, I think he's a good dude. Like, I think he's a good dude for her and everything. Like, you know what I mean? So it really is no malicious intent there. Um, I'm not jealous of him, no nothing. You know what I mean? Um... So, not only that, I've had plenty of dreams about this woman. I mean, I got them jotted down. So, like, I got plenty of dreams about this woman. And in some of those dreams, her man is actually there co-signing us. I know this is wild, right? It's getting wild, but I'm serious. Like, he's, like, co-signing us, shaking my hand and everything. Like, yo, I know this, that, and that, ah, ah. So, I guess this is another thing that makes me just feel comfortable doing what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? But she was comfortable too. She was like, it's no big deal. She was like, cut it out, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't really much said. It was just a lot of gestures and head nodding and, you know, fondling boobies. So um, now something had happened. As a matter of fact, now my furniture was switched around. So if, I, if you see my next video and I got a white background, um, just know that I actually moved my Mac and my, my some of my equipment back into another room. All right, because my equipment was moved around. It's not where it's at right now. And, you know, I got other dreams that I had that's lined up that suggest that maybe it, it might be time to actually make that move. So in this dream, the stuff is in the other room. And as I said, we watching the movie or whatever the case may be. Now, I guess we wanted to switch movies or do something kind of different. Now, I'm not I don't I'm not a completely sure if because she had a machine with her. She bought a machine with her somehow. Or maybe I got a new machine or something. I, I don't recall having this machine. So maybe I'm thinking this. Maybe it's hers. Because she came to visit me. The kid and all. So I started hooking this machine up. Maybe it's VHS maybe even. I, I don't. I think this is what got something to do with like history. Like I told you, I got history with this girl. You know what I mean? And um, But maybe it wasn't VHS. Maybe it was just a smaller machine or like a smaller TV or something. like. Maybe it was a game console. Who knows? I couldn't really see that part. And um. So I'm standing there. Now we're both standing up. So I, she's like messing with a wire. 
and I'm like messing with a wire too. I need to go back and look like what wires mean. That may mean something. She's like messing with the cable. We're trying to basically hook it up and fix it or whatever the case may be. Now I'm talking to the kid and um, do I remember exactly what I said to him? I don't remember exactly what I said to him either, but it was somewhere along the lines of like, um, you know, we're going to put this together or whatever the case may be for you. You know what I'm saying? Like we're going to do this for you, whether it's another movie, whatever the case may be. He was like, all right, cool kid, yo. And um, so when we stand in there, I'm like, yo, we talking. And I'm like, this is what I do remember saying. I'm like, yo, you I was like, I thought you lost your back shot. I don't want you to lose your back shot. You know what I'm saying? And um, she she was looking, she playing with the cable and she's looking down like this, looking up and she's smiling and she started nodding like this, like in agreement with what I'm said or like basically giving me the gesture to say like, do it, do something. You know what I mean? What that is exactly, I'm not sure. So I'm looking at this again, you know, the moon is still in Taurus right now. It's like at 27, 28 degrees. I checked it just to be sure. Um, so again, I think this goes along the lines of community. I'm back inside of my apartment with this dream. Um, the child is there with me. So again, you know, I told you, I got this vision that people want me to do something for children or with children in some type of way. This was more like a one-on-one -on -one up close type of situation. Not that like I was running a daycare, you know what I mean? And it brings me back a little bit to reflect on times that um, I have had mothers come here and to work with me, you know what I mean? And, you know, they brought their children with them. And there's times, that's what I'm saying, like, you know, I may behave all badass and disciplinary and stuff like that, but, you know, I care about children, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's times I done bought games and stuff and on my computer and plugged it up, hooked it up, right on site, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what you like to do? You like to play games, you know what I'm saying? Like, here. Yeah. You know, hooked everything up for them. I take them to the store. I get them stuff to eat. Whatever it is they want to eat. If there's food in the house already, I, I prepare it for them. You know what I'm saying? If they want the outside, some of that outside stuff, I go get them, like, slushies and stuff like that. Like, whatever. You know what I mean? And um, so, I, I, you know, I take it there. And they get to see that their mother is working as well, too. So, you know, I always thought that if I do do something that way, like, it would be done in that type of manner as well. You know what I'm saying? Them seeing their mother being productive. And again, I'm not going to try to be anybody's stepdad or anybody's dad. Like, that's not my role. You know what I'm saying? I know my role. I play it well. You know what I'm saying? So I reflected on that and I was like, possibly, you know, maybe that was a glimpse into how I may continue to do things. You know what I'm saying? Or how I can actually participate if it was a hands-on thing. Because, you know, I guess sometimes you can put your foot in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, let your kids watch me through TV, and then the next thing you know, I'm having a dream, and the kid is right here. And I've done that before. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm running away from it, but I can, I'm can. i an addictive personality. Like, I know I'm tooting my own horn right now and shit, but if you get around me, like, I'm kind of wild and crazy and shit, too. Like, behind the scenes, no bullshit. I'm not saying that to pump myself up. Like, for real, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, children gravitate to that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? They be like, yo... You know, dudes off the hook. Like, he want to play and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But there's sometimes I'm, I'm a very serious dude at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I got to be draw lines drawn. And, you know, I got to tell him, like, yo, you know, we got to work. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, like, part of this is work and stuff like that. So um, that's probably the lesson, Lucky. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Lucky again. You know what I'm saying? Good looking on that. And that's probably the lesson that needs to be learned. And that closes out pretty much the whole Moon and Taurus session. The moon is about to go inside of Gemini, which is my natal midhaven. So I'm about to get in. Like, I've sensed it already. I'm about to get into really taking care of some work. Um, it's going to probably be largely associated with communication. I could pretty much sense that already. And um, y'all enjoy y'all day. Y'all have a productive day. It's like 6.30 out this piece. The sun ain't even up yet. So this is not even my hours. I'm usually going to sleep at this time. But, you know, for whatever reason, things have changed. So I'm out, y'all.